Uh, yeah, my name is Claudia, Claudia Vasco, and I'm the uh, general manager of Barge E-Bike Systems Americas. And um, this is uh, the, I have to think about it, the sixth, no, the fifth time, I think, that we are attending Seattle Classic. And you are here in the biggest e-bike demo zone, which you can find, powered by Bosch. We are here with several partners of Bosch, for example, with Elektra, with Raleigh, with Cube, with Riesel Müller, with Trek, with Bulls. And we are very happy to launch our, our latest um, innovation here at um, uh, Sierra Classic, which is our uh, power tube, which is a frame integrated battery. So the beauty about this concept is um, it offers a lot of opportunities for bike manufacturers to really create a very, very integrative modern uh, design. Um, you can mount this battery either in a uh, vertical way like, like here, but also in a horizontal way. Um, and then the possibility to, to mount it in the frame uh, you can you can have it um, dropped off from the side, from the bottom, or from the top. That's up to the bicycle manufacturer how he wants to do it. So Bolts, for example, has decided to get it demounted um, at the bottom. So just to show you, this is a two-stage mechanism which makes the handling of the battery very easy and very safe. So you just saw I unlocked the battery and it falls down into a restrained support system. And then I just push the button and it gets out. Very, very easy. So you see the slick, slim design of the battery. Um, it is a 500 watts hour battery. And in its class, in its power density class, probably the, the lightest battery, which you can find just 6.2 pounds. Yeah, we just saw one possibility to integrate the power tube, and this is a very interesting way. Uh, Reason Müller, a German bike manufacturer, he is using the dual battery technology. So he is really doubling the power density of this bike by using the power tube both in the down tube and so the, the vertical way which I described and also in the horizontal way. So that's really a very interesting uh, concept. It doubles, of course, the distance um, of the rides you can make by doubling the power density of the bike. Yeah, talking about uh, varieties of bikes and the opportunities for bicycle manufacturers to integrate our power tube, this is another way. So Gazelle, Gazelle uh, has chosen the way to to uh, demount it from, from, from the top, whereas Bulls did it on the bottom, so I said, and there are other ways to do it from the side as well. So a lot of potential for bike manufacturers to design the bike nicely around the power tube. So you can see here the complete product line of our different drive units. So we have basically four different product lines. So we start on the left hand side with the active line, um, this is our newest, it's actually the third generation of Bosch e-bike systems and we made a huge, a huge uh, progress in terms of weight and in terms of um, size. So actually the active line in comparison to the second generation is one kilogram lighter and 20% smaller than the last generation. A huge, huge uh, progress here. And also based on the motor concept, uh, we were able to completely reduce noise and vibration. So the sensor processing is so fast that vibration and noise is not an issue anymore. And in comparison to the former product, a big, big advantage is also you do not feel any resistance anymore when the motor is switched off. It just feels like a normal bike. So those products are more for commuting, for the for city dwellers, for the use in yeah in cities. Whereas when we are moving to the right, we are getting in the more dynamic, high torque um, systems, which have been designed for longer tours or even for recreational use in mountains. So we are talking here performance line CX 
at maximum 300% additional support to the physical power you are providing. 75 Newton meter. We start here with 40 Newton meter, 50 Newton meter, and then as I said, um, the maximum, the CX, which has been specifically designed for e mountain bikes, 75 Newton meter. Very, very um, um, direct response from the motor, really designed for mountain bikes where you need direct support when you climb up a hill. Um, so, all kinds of uh, bike types can be equipped and depending on the purpose of the bike, what kind of uh, tour you want to do, you have for every kind, you have the, the appropriate system. So we are very proud, it's the third year in a row that we have the Bosch powered or the, the e-mountain bike race powered by Bosch. So three years ago we had approached Frank Johannen, who is the godfather of Seattle Classic and asked him if he was willing to add an e-mountain bike race to this wonderful venue because we have very very a lot of experience with e-mountain bike races in Europe they are existing in any kind of variety like 24 hour races relays and we wanted to to introduce this specific race to the SS world and Frank was he was kind enough to say yeah let's do it let's try it so three years ago first time of course we are learning every year so this course is now refreshed it's it's even more challenging we added some some climbing 100 feet of climbing so overall it's a four loop race very challenging it will really it will challenge both human and machine uh, we have rock gardens rock gardens we have uh, gravel sections we have uh, it, it will be a hard test so both for the system and the rider and uh, we will have six different age groups for both female and male and of course a pro and a, a pro category for both female and race and overall a three thousand uh, dollar purse so the the winner will get 750 uh, dollar both the female and the man and we are really looking forward so it will be a fantastic spectacle uh, so Troy Lee <laughs> Troy Lee he's a true ambassador of, of e-bikes and e-mountain bikes specifically and uh, this is the second year in a row that we are featuring the Boogaloo race series, the e-mountain bike series in cooperation with Troy Lee. And we have four different races in four fantastic locations. And we are very proud and very, very happy that we could add Mammoth to this race series because Mammoth just recently opened their trail for class one e-mountain bikes, which means 20, I'm um, sorry, 20 miles per hour and just pedal assist, no throttle. So yeah, there will be, we are very, very excited to, to uh, continue this race series, which turned out to be a huge success last year. And we are just waiting, awaiting more and more um, participants this year. Sure, one new thing that we've added to Sea Otter this year is something we call skills and hills training. We're working with Mark Weir. Mark Weir, longtime Cannondale athlete, godfather of downhill racing, uh, eight-time winner of the Downeyville Classic. He's going to be leading this Skills and Hills class, which is 10 to 11 a.m. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's for intermediate riders, beginner riders, and what it is, we ride off on electric mountain bikes, and he tells you some, some tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your e-mountain bike, and have a nice ride together with Mark. And now that we're working with Mark Weir, we want to invite him to all of our races and let him do more of these skills clinics. And not just to teach skills about EMTB, but also to teach trail etiquette. Because that's another important thing when riding a mountain bike or an e-mountain bike, whatever. We all need to be good stewards of the trail and good sharers with the hikers and equestrians. So to find out more about Bosch, and also to find dealers where you can find many of these beautiful products from all of our partners. You can visit www.bosch-ebike.com.